Hi, I'm Giselle, and we're here today with Sarah of Varka Bridal. We are so lucky that we get to carry her now in our atelier, and today we'll be talking about your new collection. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm from Laramie, Wyoming. I was born and raised there, and I also went to university there. I have a degree in costume design and also French. I came back to Chicago and worked towards starting my business. Tell us about your new collection. I named it Rain On Me, but rain like rain of a queen. Basically, I just wanted to play with this collection and have a good time. I just made some things that were really fun, big dresses. I have noticed you've kind of pushed yourself in your collection. Your pieces are more couture. I really love the lace edition that you have. I do see some more modern minimalist, so it's less typical glam, and now you have this really beautiful modern silhouette, especially from this new Nina that you have done. It's very beautiful. Tell us about the materials you like to use. I have kind of stuck with a few of my staples, even though I push them to a different aesthetic. I have my signature crepe that I use all the time, so that's what Nina and the crepe skirts are made out of. I actually do most of the pattern making, cutting, sewing the samples myself. The moment I saw the fabric, I actually knew exactly what it wanted to be. I was more inspired by the textile than anything. I think the textile just said, I want to be a giant ball gown, and the textile said, I want to be a long sleeve lace. You just let it talk to you, and you listen to it, and that's what it became. I wanted to incorporate some new, more luxe textiles, like the fully feather beaded sequin and the all lace dress. I feel like it was time to push myself, like you said, to more couture. It was really fun. I didn't hold back. I just like let myself kind of go. The first dress in the collection is called Astrid. Astrid is a column dress with fully beaded neoprene fabric and sequins. Even though it's minimalist, it kind of has a more maximalist vibe because of how textured it is. It has this removable cape that is very long, very dramatic. This can be something you wear for your ceremony and then take it off and it's gonna be really comfortable to wear for your reception. This is Veronica. My goal with this dress was to keep the silhouette very minimalist and very sleek because I wanted to make the sleeve as big as I possibly could. This is a pleated tool. I've just always loved how much volume you can get from the pleats when they move in different grains and you get all these interesting lines. There's also a slit in the front here for a little bit of a flirty leg moment. This is new Nina. This is a reimagination of a dress I made in my 2018 collection. This is a crepe two-piece and convertible. For the ceremony, you can put this column skirt underneath and it creates like a very chic minimalist look. For your party, you can switch out for the original Nina skirt, which is a sequin fabric. It just creates a really fun new look without having to change your entire outfit. This is Sinead. It has a deep V in the front and a fully open back. The cuff goes quite far over the hand for a kind of witchy, vampy look. Even though the lace is traditional, the scallop is kind of a triangle shape, which is unique and different. The lining actually has a slit in the front so that when you're walking, your leg and your shoe can peek out and kind of creates a more modern look. This is Cheyenne. The peplum is lace with tulle underneath. The dress itself is lace with a silk swish dot chiffon lining. The original dress had this overskirt which was attached and now we've made it removable. You can have this dramatic look with the long tulle train for your ceremony and then take it off for a more wearable look for your reception. This is Simone. I actually wanted to reimagine our best-selling jumpsuit, Pauline, into a gown. So Pauline has my signature bird sequin embroidery, and I put it on a crepe skirt with a little puff sleeve. The birds kind of trickle down onto one hip. It's almost like they're flying, which is really cute. The back of the dress is a fully open back. The belt creates a little keyhole right above the booty, which is fun and sexy. This dress is named Sheena's Party. 
the main goal was something very fun to dance in. The fabric is a lace textile with fringe over it, and then it has Swarovski crystals all around the neckline and the arm's eye. She's really, really fun to wear and photographs like a dream. This is the piece de resistance of the collection. Her name is Rain. This is the dress that inspired the whole collection. The dress was 100% inspired by the textile, which is this amazing embroidered tool. The sequins are all out, and this little embroidery I actually think looks like constellations. Every center of the feather is embroidered with pearls and little crystals, so it adds even more sparkle. It just feels very festive, and it moves like a dream. People are already responding so greatly to your collection. It's already been pretty successful. I think you're gonna definitely keep growing from there. I feel really lucky. I feel like the universe was kind of looking out for me and they gave me all the tools to be able to get to this. You know, I took a little bit from everything and I've got a pretty strong support system behind me and I'm really blessed with that. Mm -hmm.